All right, everybody, what is up? It's Thunder. Welcome back to everybody's favorite map, Piccadilly, baby. This map is an absolute masterpiece, fan favorite Piccadilly. Can't wait for the new map variants to come off of Piccadilly, man. Who wants to play on Piccadilly Sandstorm or Piccadilly Flooded or Piccadilly Hurricane? Oh, man, the Piccadilly. I mean, I don't know how they could possibly make Piccadilly better. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, fellas. Easy map fatalities. Look at this, man. They make it easy for me to run out of bounds, but impossible to get back in, and they only give me three seconds. Are you serious? Oh, my God. This is the greatest map ever, dude. Oh, Piccadilly, man. Everyone loves Piccadilly. Hey, fellas, let, let's have a little conversation, shall we? Uh, is it, is uh, Treyarch still the best Call of Duty developer as of today, right now? I would have to say yes. And by the way, fellas, that intro was 1,000% sarcastic. Just in case your sarcasm radars are not registering today. But listen, fellas, if you look at the body of work for this new Infinity War team here, and I'm not going to count MW3 because Sledgehammer Games really helped... Uh, this new Infinity War team out a lot with that game. And you look at the last three games that Infinity War has made. We're talking COD Ghosts, Infinite Warfare, and this game, Modern Warfare Rebooted. Which, by the way, I really hate the fact that Modern Warfare's name is attached to this game. Because this game was probably going to be Ghost 2. And they just slapped Captain Price and Modern Warfare on here to sell copies. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the name you know, the face you know. Everyone knows Captain Price. Everyone knows Modern Warfare. Uh, but Infinity War's track record has been horrible lately. Now, listen, I know that both COD Ghosts and Infinite Warfare had their niche fans. Like, there's, there's a lot of, there's a big chunk of fans out there. That are crazy about COD Ghosts and love Infinite Warfare. and But there's a lot more fans that hate both of those games. I mean, you could easily say that COD Ghosts and Infinite Warfare are two of the most hated COD games ever made. I mean, COD Ghosts is one of the most forgettable COD games ever made. COD Ghosts had some amazing DLC, but so many people quit playing it, not many people got to experience that DLC. Uh, Infinite Warfare was... Easily, probably the most hated COD game ever made. And fellas, I'll be honest with you guys right now. I think this game, Modern Warfare Rebooted, in the long run, will be even more hated than Infinite Warfare. I think this will be the most hated COD game ever. I mean, I'm seeing people like Mark J roast this game. Uh, Eight Thoughts. I know Eight Thoughts roasts every COD game, but he really hates this game. And, and <laughs> to be honest, so do I. This game is... I mean, dude, look at the way you got to play this game, man. Just look at this, man. I mean, you go back and watch any of my Black Ops 4 videos I've been uploading recently with the VMP. I've been rushing nonstop. I mean, I'm winning free-for-all games going flawless, rushing nonstop in four minutes flat. Uh, this game is so hated by the community right now. And we haven't even seen the microtransaction cheese that's dropping in December. And let's be honest. That's not going to make the game better anytime soon, man. The, the, the supply stream that's coming is not going to make this game better. Does anyone think the supply stream will make this game better? When has microtransactions ever made a Call of Duty game better? So as hated as this game is right now, it's about to get a whole lot worse in December, people. I mean, so just based on the body of work, Infinity Ward's last three COD games, we can say they were pretty abysmal. Uh by the you know the majority of the cod community and look I, i'm sure there's probably a lot of people that really like this game modern warfare reboot i know a lot of people like how realistic it is how realistic the guns look and feel and everything and i agree with you guys that's cool listen i'm not talking about how the guns look and how the guns feel and the graphics all that stuff is amazing here i am talking about the gameplay fellas the gameplay is atrocious it's abysmal the maps are terrible the pacing of this game is terrible it's a bad multiplayer game. The graphics, I mean, look, Piccadilly looks amazing, but it plays terrible. You know what I'm saying? All the weapons in here, the sounds, I mean, they're all fantastic. I agree with you guys. The guns look and sound amazing, but the I'm talking about the gameplay. The gameplay is absolute garbage. Like, I couldn't even see this guy. I mean, look how dark inside these buildings are, man. I am so sick and tired of getting killed by guys I can't even see. Uh, and, and by the way, fellas, not only is this game bad, but Infinity Ward, they just seem to keep making 
the same mistakes over and over and over again. I mean, let's take a look at this game right here, okay? They've got footsteps completely messed up. Their solution to fixing footsteps, uh, Joe Seesaw put this out. Um, he said there's going to be another round of footstep tuning. This is going to be, I think, the third or the fourth footstep tuning um, since the game has launched. I mean, how does this stuff make it past playtesters? How does this stuff make it past the beta? Uh, but listen, so the third or fourth round of footstep tuning is going to include crouch walking. So when you duck walk, you're not going to make any sound. I mean, bro, duck walking was an MW3. Oh, my God. Get wrecked, son. Damn, the Claymore Justice, baby. Get bodied, son. But, dude, really? Duck walking? Infinity War, that's your solution to footsteps? Dude, duck walking was an MW3. I'm duck walking right now, man. <laughs> this is lame. I don't want to have to play like this. How come in Black Ops 4 or in Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, I never had to duck walk around the map? How come in any Treyarch game you can run around the map? Footsteps are a non-issue. When have you ever heard someone complain about footsteps in a Treyarch Call of Duty game? So Treyarch has figured out footsteps. Infinity Ward, not so much. Their solution to footsteps is to duck walk around the map. Bro, are you serious, man? Who wants to do that, dude? You do it because you have to do it. You shouldn't have to do it. In a Treyarch COD game, you never have to duck walk anywhere, dude. And Ghost. Like, Infinity Ward can't figure out Ghost. Like, Treyarch figured out Ghost back in Black Ops 2. You had to be running around for it to work. You know what I'm saying? Treyarch messed up with Ghost in Black Ops 1. Where Fiddy Ward keeps making the same mistake. Everyone in this game uses Ghost. And Ghost is super overpowered. There is, like, no perk variety at all in this game, man. Which is terrible. And speaking of Ghost and perk variety, I will say one nice thing about COD Ghost. COD Ghost's uh, creator class... That was the greatest creator class system Infinity Ward has ever done. I mean, I don't know why they didn't bring that creator class back here. Why go back to the tier 1, two, tier 2, and tier 3 perk system with no real perk variety at all? Because all people running this game is Overkill, Ghost, and like whatever in the tier 3. Uh, I mean, COD Ghost had the greatest creator class system in COD history. I mean... It was just fantastic. I absolutely loved it. I don't know why Infinity Ward abandoned that, man. Call of Duty's done a lot of great things. I don't know why they get away from stuff like that. But whatever. It doesn't make any sense. So, listen. We know there's going to be perks coming to this game. I would love to see a Sixth Sense perk come to this game, dude. I would really love it. And hopefully it works when people are sitting in corners. Not like Acoustic Sensor in Black Ops 4. That would only work if people were rushing. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, show people sitting in corners. I do believe a Sixth Sense, Acoustic Sensor type perk will definitely be coming to this game. Uh, they brought it to COD World at, uh, World War II. Remember the Resistance Division? They had it in that. They had it in Black Ops 4. I think a Sixth Sense perk would go real, real well here in uh, Modern Warfare rebooted here. And put it in the Tier 2 because it would be a powerful perk. It would compete with Ghost. Uh, they got to do something, man. I mean, honestly, Infinity Ward, the next COD game you make, if anyone from Infinity Ward is watching me, go back to the Ghost Creator class system where you could pick, like, I love that, dude. You had so many different perks you could choose, and they all were assigned different point values. The COD Ghost Creator class was so great, man. I really did enjoy it, man. COD, COD Ghost is better than this game. I mean, let's be honest, fellas. If you were to rank Infinity Ward's last three COD games, right, COD Ghosts, uh, Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Rebooted. Uh, I want you guys to rank them in the comment section down below. If I was to rank them, I'd say COD Ghost is number one. Then maybe... Oh, it's close, dude. It's real close between Modern Warfare Rebooted and Infinite Warfare. Uh, I'd have to say Modern Warfare Rebooted. Just because I can't stand all that jetpack crap jumping all around. I hate that with a passion, man. You know your boy's old school. Look at that, fellas. Another 30 bomb on Piccadilly, son. A 30 bomb free for all on Piccadilly. Was this another fake video, man? Hey, don't think I forgot about this, man, Infinity Ward. You got to fix this too, bro. Shout out to the homie Boneless Chicken. One off the juggernaut suit, man. Got shot through the wall with his poltergeist booty pro. Uh, sticking his booty sticking through the wall over there. Infinity Ward, fix that too, man. Shout out to the homie Boneless Chicken, man. I hope you got that juggernaut suit, dude. I ain't forgot about you, man. Anyway, fellas. All right, that's all I got, dude. And Hey, you know what would really help Call of Duty, honestly? is if they stop coming out with a new COD game every year. I think that's the biggest thing. I, I just think these games are so rushed. They're not properly play tested. There's so many problems, dude. I mean, 
Activision, come on, give these guys a little more time, man. I think maybe a COD every uh, a new COD every other year. I'd even be fine with a new COD every three years, dude. I mean, I'm probably gonna wind up playing Black Ops 4 for the next two years anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I played Black Ops 3 for three years. Uh, stop coming out with new COD games every year, man. I think that would definitely help. But anyway, all right, guys, that's all I got. You guys already seen this gameplay, already uploaded. Just wanted to give Boneless Chicken another shout out, man. This Poltergeist Booty Pro, uh, Boneless Chicken. Oh, Boneless, Boneless Chicken. Oh, man. Damn, I'm hungry. I think I'm gonna go to KFC. All right, fellas, I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.